Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. The subject we are concerned with is gun violence in America and how Congress and the Supreme Court have done virtually nothing to protect us and our families and children. They haven't really addressed this issue except to make it worse. And all the while, the number of guns and gun violence incidents in the country are continuing to increase. And that includes those with military-grade assault weapons in the hands of people who have no conceivable use for them. If you didn't know, there are more than 400 million guns in this country per capita, more than anywhere else in the world. And there were more than 650 mass shootings in 2023, more than ever before. We should all be concerned about this because it's shocking and because no progress has been made and none is likely in Congress or the Supreme Court. The NRA and the gun lobby are still huge and implacable forces in Congress and also apparently in the Supreme Court. With all the senseless killing we have seen, how can anyone vote for a candidate who actually opposes stronger gun control and gun safety in our country? We, the people, seem to be increasingly numb to the silence of government on gun control and the obvious and outrageous failure of government to protect us from the continuing increase in gun violence. We cannot afford to be complacent. It's only a matter of time until the next incident takes place. Maybe an incident that will affect us, too. The fact is that individuals can and should do something about it. We should write to federal representatives and officials. We should also lobby state and county governments. We should publish strident op-ed pieces. And we should call out any candidate or official who does not support stronger, much stronger gun control. We should provide generous support to candidates who do support gun control and national gun control advocates like the Brady Group. The takeaway is that we can't forget about our country's sad, if not tragic, state of inaction on this issue. We need to keep it top of mind for us and for every national and local official. We need to speak out and vote against any candidate who does not affirmatively promise to take aggressive steps to return our country to a place of public safety, and we must hold every official accountable for a failure to do that. We can't forget about it, and we can't let them forget about it. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary.